uh, have been accomplished over the last 20 years was very important for the European Union. I just uh, mentioned uh, things like uh, single market, uh, like Maastricht, really, like uh, the, uh, creating the basis for introduction of Euro, our common currency, and of course uh, the framework for the biggest enlargement of the European Union, thanks to which the European Union uh, uh, went uh, to the number of 28 and 20, uh, 24 foreign languages, so it was really very, very impressive development in the last 20 years. Luxembourg is one of the uh, cities uh, in the center of, uh, of Europe. Uh, to what extent do you think the people here who work for the European Union are an important um, know-how base uh, for bringing Europe uh, forward? I, I think that uh, this is very often not recognized enough that if it comes uh, to certain profession that European officials are really top class specialists. I think if it comes to the translations, to the, uh, to the interpretation, but also to uh, to men, uh, to statistics and many of the scientific disciplines, uh, like, uh, so we can really say that uh, the, the European officials are at the top class uh, in the world. And if it comes to, I would say, our linguistic skills and quality of translation and interpretation, so I think there we are really serving as a, as a benchmark for all other international institutions in the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, people who work for Europe are very well educated, competent and hardworking probably yeah, as well? Yeah, it, it's true. It's absolutely true and I think that we have to uh, recognize it and uh, explain it very often that to, uh, to work for the EU institution is not only the, 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 the honor but of course it's not that easy to get there because you have to pass the most competitive recruitment procedures uh, among the public services that I'm uh, absolutely sure you have to be very good with the languages so I mean here uh, all uh, civil servants I know speak two or three or, or, or more languages and you have to be prepared to work in multicultural environment uh, very often very far from, uh, from your home from your parents so it's also certain uh, certain dedication so I think that uh, uh, all these uh, qualities are really making the European civil service exceptional one and uh, uh, I, uh, I believe that uh, this uh, is and that this will be also recognized by the European citizens. Thank you very much, Vice President. Thank you. Thank you.